So guys, yesterday I made a video about Bouncer and his documentary responding to Darchavelli calling him a snitch. And now Darch has actually made some more comments about the documentary also. He said, you guys made a snitch, come and run the game, I'm done. About push narrative, told you, and these blog pages never wanted to post my side of the story and my evidence from the feds. I get it now, but we move. And then comments were in response to this clip. Well, I made friends with the blog pages, bro. Uh. I'm, in, I'm in a group chat. On Insta, with like 30 big, the biggest blog pages, mm. and we all talk on there. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. Like, we all talk on there. Mm. Whatever narrative we want to push, we can push if we really want to. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But we don't. But we. But my thing is, blog pages hit me up now. They hit me up when their pages go down, and they're like, well, can you help, man? Hit up Facebook or... I think Dutch Avelli thinks that Bouncer had an agenda against him and pushed the whole talking to a minor thing on all the blog pages and told him to do it. When I think the person to blame for it is the person that actually leaked his DMs on his page for all the blog pages to see and repost. Bouncer responded to his comments and shout out UK Gossip TV for the screenshot. He said at Dutch Avelli. Let's have a boxing match or stop talking on the net. I'll pay for your lie detector test and let's get confirmation from Insta saying your DMs are fake. And if I'm wrong, I'll give you a public apology. Bouncer and Dutch Avelli in a boxing match. Who do you guys think wins? Some of the criticism from the last fight of Bouncer and Arms was it was on the ground too much laying down. But a stand-up boxing match, I'm sure people would tune in and see. But will Dutch Avelli accept that offer? I'm not too sure. If he has previous experience, wants to box with Bouncer. A lie detector test was another thing that was suggested by a bouncer just to put this whole thing to bed and find out the truth of the situation once and for all, even though Dr. Feli feels like he's proved himself by putting out the police paperwork. I'm Just Bait said, to be fair, a lie detector test ain't a bad idea. If man's innocent, he'll pass with flying colours, no? If they do decide to do a boxing match, they can put Little Man on the undercard again. He was recently calling people out on his Instagram. You know my people, you know my face, you know who it is. Little man, famous and fucking dangerous. Did I give you man a good audience yesterday, the other day? Not yesterday, the other day. Because yo, I know I did, because my arms are aching, let me tell you a few or two. But furthermore, you know this Dutch boy you put me up with? That man there, not a competition. You understand? That man there, washed, rubbed out. Why do you think I didn't have much stand so I didn't show you man the thing, I just kept on giving him, bow, bow, the one two jab, because that's all he's worth. You get me? But you know what it is? I want America, Australia, Russia, Dutch, Holland, Africa, wherever you want to call it, Uganda. Listen, I'm the boss, yeah? I'm the boss of small people. Let me tell you a thing or two. I'm Baby Tyson. You know my face, yeah? So, anyone's got any um, dwarfs with clout, yeah? Come, slide in my DM, because I'm on anything and anyone, yeah? No face, no case. Say no more. Little man, stay tuned. Whoosh, I'm back. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.